We're going to take a look at the Primary Arms 2.5 powered compact scope. It's got the ACSS CQB M reticle. It's got your BDC dots out to 600 yards. It's got your built in range finder over here on the side. And it's got your big horseshoe there for up close and personal. Now the two and a half power does kind of throw your up close and personal off a little bit if you're shooting both eyes open, but you can get used to it. It's a very durable scope. It's kind of heavy. The glass is super clear. The way this works with the 5.56 is you sight it in on the top of the dot, the center dot here at 50 yards and then you can use your BDC dots out to 600. So far it's been pretty reliable. I'm only going to shoot out to about 300 yards today, 275, somewhere around in that. So we're going to shoot up close, then we're going to shoot 100 yards, then we'll shoot out to nearly 300. Instead of shooting still, uh, I put a five gallon water jug down there at about 280 yards. We're just going to shoot it. We're sighted in at 50 yards, so we are going to give this a try. I will zoom in, see if... Okay, yeah. You ought to be able to see it. The wind is blowing insanely hard right now, but it's not that far. We should be able to do this, no problem. Hit. I'm going to see if I can put another one on it. There we go. All right, let's drive down there and take a look. My first hold blowed the cap off. You could see a little bit of water maybe in the video. So I lowered it down. My second shot went right here and blowed the bottom of the jug out. Back yonder is where we're shooting from. Uh, that glass is really good and clear. And even with a two and a half power, it's not that much, but 300 yards, uh, it's really pretty easy to get hits on that and i would say someone with better eyes can utilize those bdc dots out as far as you dare so when we first started sighting in today we finally got her at 50 yards and was easily able to make hits out to 300 with the primary arms two and a half powered compact scope. The reticle's pretty good. I think it would work better for people with younger eyes, um, but it's a very durable optic. Uh, the glass is really clear. So it's got drop compensation out to 600 yards once you get it sighted in like this. I would say you could use it for that if you could see the dots and everything fine. For close up, the two and a half power kind of throws it off for me, um, shooting both eyes open, but it's a good optic. Primary Arms makes a lot of good stuff. You just have to decide for yourself if you'd rather have a low powered variable that's got a true one power or a 2.5 fixed. Thanks for watching.